Welcome back to Barlow's Boutique. I'm Frankie. I'm here to show you my Dr. Tongue model kit that I painted up. Uh, this is uh, a resin kit that I had to... This is the first one where I actually filled holes in his legs and you can probably see where that those spots are. Um, this, this it came with a certificate of authenticity. This is a number two kit out of the original mold from sculptor John Mealor and it's signed by, by John. Now I found this on Etsy. Um, a little backstory on Dr. Tongue. Uh, Day of the Dead is my favorite George Romero horror or uh, zombie movie. I love it. It's like he said, the, the, what did he say about fans of Day of the Dead? And then there are the real trolls, you know, who like Day of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'm one of those. So uh, I love Dawn, I love Night, and I even like uh, some of the other ones that came later, even though they don't they don't compare to the original trilogy. I was going to buy one of these off Sean Clark. He was doing an online uh, auction, and he does the little gavel thing. And I had I was the highest bidder, and he was going once, bam, hit it once, and he's like, oh, and he started answering somebody's somebody's questions. Like, yeah, blah 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 blah. And while he was talking, I got outbid, so I got talked out of having that kit. But I think. I might be wrong, but I think his his uh, Doctor Tongue was a was a smaller might have been a smaller size, like a twelve inch, like a one six size, and it was just a different kit. So I've always wanted that kit, and then when I saw this on Etsy, I thought in my mind that it was the same kit, but then when I got it, it's like God, this thing is huge. It's uh, I'm not even sure how tall it is. It's at least eighteen inches. Um, I just. I just love it. Uh, the M, this is the first zombie you see in Day of the Dead. It's incredible. Um, right here, there was holes here and here where it didn't quite fit. And then on the arms somewhere over here. And this is the best one. I can't really see, but these you can kind of see. But you just kind of muck them up, and then it don't really look like nothing. Uh, I really took my time with this. This is the first time that I tried to paint rust on this man cover, manhole cover. And I, it did a pretty decent job. Um, the way he glued on, he's real tipsy, so I used some Gorilla Glue gel under his foot. It's clear, you can't really see it, but it's, it's giving it a little bit of extra support. Now these shoes, they look like light brown dress shoes, but actually I just I put a one coat of brown on it, and it kind of made this color, and it's not really done, but I, I just like the way it looks, because it looks old and beat up. And uh, it also came with one of the papers. <laughs> uh, in the movie that, that blows up right before you see all the zombies. Um, it isn't really in the area he's in, but I like this. It also came with, uh, I like like it here in this kit. Um, it also came with little dollar bills you could you can cut out and put on the ground, but he I don't think he was anywhere near the bank, so I didn't really do that. But anyway, these are uh, palm tree uh, branches. Um, and I'll give you a a better tour of this here in just a second and uh, for the hair I couldn't figure out what to do with the hair because it was bald and when you walk into my area here I have all my life-size half bus and masks and stuff over there studios and I do the half bus uh, JC Penney's went out of business and I bought one of the half mannequins but uh, he has all this hair so I just cut out pieces from the back and the side and used it for the top of that one and I have a uh, trick-or-treat doctor tongue and I added a, when you buy it, it has hair on it, but it's kind of wonky. And I found an, a, another gray wig at a thrift store or something and bought it and put it on top of it. And now it looks looks better, although it's it doesn't really look like Dr. Tongue if you really, really look at it, compare, compare it. But it's, it's a cool little thing. Thanks for watching. This was, this was by far my favorite kit to do so far. I just had so much fun with it because of my love for Day of the Dead. And thank you for watching. Uh, all my social media accounts are in the credits give a shout out on this one to darren dobbins for my music he's he, he's been acing this music for the longest time i think he should be working for somebody for a company womp stomp uh spectra vision somebody uh you should pick him up and, and hire him he's it's really he, what he does is really cool and i'd like to dedicate this video to the late george romero to joe Plato, and to gary clar rest in peace see you guys
Today we're going to talk about this right here. This is the Invisible Jet from Wonder Woman. Um, I painted it. It's the best one that's ever been done, as you can clearly see. Here, wait. There you can see the back of it. You can see the engines. Pretty fucking rad, right? Man, Gal Gadot. 